Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel is really Entertainment, and welcome back to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, episode 20, OMG, this is crazy, I can't believe we're already on episode 20, and once again I have forgotten to work on the cactus because I am very, very lazy, uh, but... Uh, what have I been doing for the last week or so? Well, five out of those seven days... Well, actually, I'm recording this almost a week after the last episode came up. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it out on time. Uh, if a video about Amiibos has come out, then that means I'm late and I failed. So, aw. But, back to the real point. Uh, I have been AFKing for about five days. And each of those days, I'd AFK I was at school. So, eight hours of AFKing. So you're about to see what 40 hours of AFK can do for a guy like me. Uh, so let's just dump down the massive waste of wood into our secret base that really needs redecorating because it looks really ugly. Except for the hallways. I really like these hallways. It's really nice. Ooh, It's so pretty. This picture right here is great. And when I come out here, I'm like, Ooh, ah, poo, ah, and I just vomit all over the place. Hey guys, this is disgusting now. Uh, but... Brace yourselves. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, I are, as you may remember, I already had one stack of iron blocks, so that's always been the test, but this is what 40 more hours can give me. Stack, stack, four, and 40 ingots. Uh, uh, in the last, like, half an hour, I've gotten those 40 ingots. Well, less than that. Like, 20 minutes, I've gotten 40 ingots. My iron farm is so freaking efficient. People are going to say that I cheated, but no, that's just a week of AFKing. Watch anybody else have an iron farm, and they can get that much iron. Uh, I think Noodles, whenever he goes over to his farm, he ends up with, like, a freak ton of that stuff. Uh, but, of course, uh, we need something to do with this iron, and, of course, we're going to put it in the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the Operation Iron Chunk. And I didn't put in these stack because if I put in over two stacks of iron blocks, everyone would accuse me of cheating. Oh, but by the way, this is how the how it looks so far. Operation Iron Sunk. It looks pretty good. Uh, it looks bumpy there because I covered up all the bedrock. There's now no longer a piece of bedrock sewing within the uh, Operation Iron Sunk. So we need to go and place this iron. I decided to do it on camera because it would people would accuse me of cheating, of course, because. That's what the internet does, and especially since I'm a small YouTuber, people would accuse me of cheating more in order to get, like, views and stuff. But no, I am just very, very addicted to Minecraft. I play it every day uh, at varying degrees. Sometimes I only play it for a few minutes, sometimes I play it for hours. It depends how inspired I am. Today I've just been AFKing the whole day, just doing some chores. I need to think of something to do, which is why... Uh, we're, what we're doing today after I fill up Operation Iron Chunk. Uh, it's, uh, I've got a pretty big thing to do for episode 20. Uh, a little celebration. Not really a celebration, but something crazy and psychopathic. Almost as crazy as, uh, well, more crazy than filling, it, than surrounding the, uh, it's more crazy than ring, episode 3, Ring Around the Biome but not as crazy as this. So that gives you a little picture. So uh, while we're filling, I might as well talk to you guys. Uh, so I mentioned a few days ago, a video came up about me getting a second channel and only like two people ever watched it. Well, don't worry, I've decided that it's gonna be null and uh, it's not gonna happen. And people may be wondering why. Was it because as I said in the video, I got bad responses to it? And the answer to that is no. The reason was, is the reason I wanted to make a second channel became invalid. The reason I wanted to make a second channel was because I wanted a channel specifically for gaming and one specifically for shows, like Axel's Equestrian Reviews, like better quality stuff. Oh, I've already gone through one stack. Uh, so better quality stuff. Uh, but when I started Axel 2 my second channel, before uh, I started thinking, what am I going to put on this channel? And I suddenly came up, well, I thought to myself, Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, would that go on the main channel or the second channel? Because this is almost a so. I consider this a so. Uh, so I needed to think about that for a while. But then I came up with two brand new shows. And they were both really good ideas, and they're both coming in the future. They're both shows that have to do with gaming. Uh, but then I had a, an idea. I thought to myself, 
wait a second, these ideas I just came up with, they're actually pretty good, but, ooh, whoa, I just made it, this looks really cool now, look, it's completely f flat, I mean, said like flat or something, and look how thick it is, that is a lot of iron, I'll brace an iron chunk, this thing's gonna look amazing when it's done, but back on point, uh, so I was thinking about it to myself, and I thought to myself, these two new shows that I was about to create, they're both so quality, and that's all the iron I have, so this is all of Iron Sunk. This is going, this is, I've already used so much iron, as you can see here, and I'm showing it to you episodically, so you know I'm not cheating. I know a few of you are still going to accuse me of cheating, but trust me, this is all legit. Go watch Think Noodle's videos, you see he has, it, he goes to his chest and finds stacks upon stacks of iron ingots, which is what I do, just on a smaller scale, because I do it daily. Well, he has it on a server, so training 24 hours a day. Uh, but where was I? So I realized these two new shows are actually so quality and quality for the first channel. And I thought, if uh, the problem with my uh, why, uh, with my gaming was that I wasn't inspired. But I'm inspired to do this series and the two new series I came up with. So why wouldn't I put them on the main channel? Because they're so quality and they're cool. So I decided why... Uh, I don't need a second channel, and that's basically how that story goes. And now for the major, major thing for today. Oh wait, saying I did off camera. This is the dungeon. I accidentally broke the spawner, which is really dumb of me, because now I can't make it into a zombie XP farm, which would have been really cool, but it it doesn't really matter. Uh. But I took away the walls and I gave it a glass floor. I'm thinking of making a shop right here that incorporates this into it. But I don't know what to do. Leave an idea uh, in the comments. Like maybe a mob shop or something. I am not at all sure. But you never know. So, uh, But what was I inspired to do for the 20th episode? Well, something crazy as I said. As you can see, we've got the same five things but a sixth one. Operation. Sand killer. Da da da. Now, uh, usually when I'm playing, I look like this way and I get kind of depressed in this world and I think, why am I doing this? This isn't worth it. It's just a barren wasteland. It doesn't look good. I should just start over and make a whole new world. And I thought to myself, why? It, uh, I have so much stuff here. Why does it seem to me like it's a desert uh, wasteland? And the idea came to me because it's literally a desert. So I thought to myself, how can I fix this problem I'm having? And I had the idea. Convert all the sand in the entire world into dirt. Well, at least all in this section. Inside the city, it's all going to turn from sand into dirt. Oh, by the way, we need to update the map. Where do you go? Oh, you went over there. Uh, with iron chunk active. Oh my gosh, look at that. It was bumpy, but oh my gosh, look how smooth that looks. You could just like rub your face against it because it looks so smooth. That is seek. That is cool. It's a little bland, but since I know what it is, I can't imagine uh, when I'm done when I can just look this way and see a giant pillar of iron going up into the sky. But yes, you heard me correctly. I'm replacing every block of sand in here with dirt, and this is going to take me about a trillion years, so usually, I'm going to do something crazy, I'm actually going to watch YouTube videos on my iPad while I do this, because it's going to take so long, I'm going to get so bored doing it, uh, but the city is going to be dirt, so I might even have to say it do some off camera, because i got to go to bed at some point, uh, and this is going to just hurt really badly, but I think it'll be really beautiful when all the dirt comes in. And I can have flowers and grass and stuff. And it'll be just like a normal Minecraft place and not a desert. Uh, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to start over here and we're going to start working our way over there. Just turning everything from sand into dirt. So <sighs> let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
As you can see, I've gotten a large portion done, and I still got a lot of dirt in my inventory, but I did my maximum thing. I've been digging and placing dirt for 30 minutes, and believe it or not, I actually have a life outside of YouTube, and I have stuff to do. Gotta have dinner, gotta take a shower, yada, 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 and I told myself I'd play for 30 minutes, then I have to get business done stuff. But as you can see, I got a lot of this done. It looks kind of ugly now because it's dirt. But the part where it's green, I can already see the improvement. OMG, this is going to look so good when it's done. At first, I, m I actually made a copy of the world and saved it because I thought maybe the color of the dirt would be disgusting and I'd end up hating it. But so far, the color of the dirt's much better than I originally anticipated. I uh, This is probably going to be amazing. Uh... Since 30 minutes, I realized that my time lapse is probably going to be 10 times faster than the normal video. So 10 seconds per one second, and that's just a little insane. So I decided to wrap it up there. Well, let's, eh, eh, let's look at what this looks like currently. Eh, eh, oh no, eh, there we go. And yes, it already looks better. 
I really like this so far. I'll probably do the surrounding area right here and uh, maybe on the edges, but I'm going to leave the beaches sand because, of course, they're beaches, and that makes sense. Uh, so, wow, it's crazy how much work I got done in 30 minutes, but tackling this entire thing is going to take forever. Oh, my gosh, I, don't, I didn't realize how much trouble I was getting myself in. Uh, and one more thing before... Before I end the episode, they're saying I was going to mention at the beginning of the episode that I completely neglected to introduce or something, uh, and it is the status of the cactus farm. I've been AFKing for, as you know, about 40 hours. Wait, during that 30 minutes, how many ingots did I get? Whoa, I got 34 additional ingots to make a grand total of 38 ingots. So as you can see, my farm's pretty effective, and you were watching me the whole time. There was no way I could have cheated, so yes, 34 ingots. Uh, so see... This is all the cactus I have. But wait, there's more. If we go into the secret maintenance room, which you guys aren't allowed to go in, but I'm giving a behind-the-scenes tour. Oh, look, I dug over that. Uh, so it fills up. Let's see. This hopper's filled up. We can't see in the corner hopper, but this hopper's filled. This one, this one, this one, this one, all the way to this one. It's all filled OMG, that's a lot. And this thing gets clogged. Is it clogged? No, and I got an ink sack. Ooh, pretty. Uh, but this thing constantly gets clogged with the thing with the extra supplies that goes in there. Somehow dozens of eggs get into the system, even though I've turned off the farm. So it just get the McMother cluckers is shut down temporarily. But somehow eggs keep flooding the system. It's really annoying. But yeah, that is a lot of cactus. I'm going to have to shut off the farm once this chest starts nearing filling. And then the uh, cactus farm will be shut down. Maybe I'll ta uh, completely take it down. Because uh, I said it was kind of ugly. And if I don't need it at all, why, do I, why am I keeping a massive green blob there? So that might be a future episode of me destroying the building. Maybe with some TNT. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. TNT indeed. Yee hee 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 hee. ha 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 ha. But until next time, I uh, I uh, leave a like, a comment, maybe subscribe to join the Axel Empire. Tell me what I should do in the next episode. Probably by the next episode or in like two or three episodes, Operation Sand Killer will be complete, uh, and there will no longer be any sand in our area. Our desert will be a field, and it'll be beautiful. And until next time, I'm Axel, from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!